guys, welcome to Indecent Gaming, where we show you what's hot in the world of indie gaming. I'm Meg Turney, and on this episode, we are dedicating everything to IndieCade 2012. I went out to IndieCade this weekend, it's the only national event that's geared just toward indie gaming, and it was a ton of fun. First of all, it was amazing to see everything from playground games to like PS3 games in the same festival, and it was amazing to see people coming out just for the love of games. I mean, there are developers here who did everything on their own time with their own money just for the love of video games, and it was a ton of fun to see them show off their product and support their games in IndieCade 2012. So I'm gonna tell you two games that I saw there that were available now, and then we're gonna go over two games that I saw there that are available in the future, so you can keep an eye on them. First up is Bloop. Now it sounds crazy simple, but it's a ton of fun. It's for the iPad, and basically you have up to four players. Each player gets a color, and when their color pops up on the iPad, they tap it to score points. It sounds really simple, and it is, but when you get four pairs of hands in there all trying to touch their own color, it becomes push and shove. It's basically like spoons for our generation. Can you imagine having just an ounce of alcohol involved. There's gonna be a broken iPad, or a broken arm, or a broken hand, or maybe just a good time. Could be just that. Here's a look at what it looked like when we played Blue. Beep, 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 beep. Move your hand. Elliot's party. Elliot's hand. Ah, <laughs> oh, man! You get out of here, man! Wait, you can't do that. Yeah, we can. We do whatever we want. No, you can't! Move, Elliot! I don't want you to play my game! <laughs> You see on that side, I'll see on this side. Okay, man. Purple! Sounds it's cool, bro. It's purple, Meg! <laughs> I won, I won, I know it. I can feel it. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> one! I don't understand what Number happened. Number one! Bloop is available for iOS devices, though I wouldn't recommend it for your iPhone right now for just a dollar, so get it. Another game that I checked out that I absolutely loved was Hidden in Plain Sight. It's available on the Xbox Live Indie Arcade, and it's only 80 points, so it's absolutely worth it. There are several different game modes, but the one that we love the most was called Death Race. Basically, it's a race to the finish line, but there's like this weird caveat where you start the game, but you don't know which of the dozen or so players you are, and you have to push A to walk and kind of just match up when a character moves, but you don't want to be too obvious because you also have a crosshair and you can shoot a player dead. So basically you want to shoot your opponents, but you don't want your opponents to know which character you are so they can't shoot you. You only get one bullet though, so don't go shooting crazy. The name of the game is Staying in the Crowd. It's just a ton of fun. And then once somebody wastes their bullet, just make it a run for the finish line. Check out how ridiculous it got. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that person made a damn break for it. It's a race to the top and now they're just sitting and Yeah, still. and so is this person. That's Lee. Someone's out. There's also a really fun game of with ninjas where you try to hit a bunch of statues without showing anybody which ninja you are. And when you find out which ninja the other people are, you karate chop them to death. Oh my god, it is so much fun. Oh, someone dropped a f some bomb. Yeah! Hidden in Plain Sight, like I said, is available on the Xbox Live Indie Arcade for only 80 points. So even if you're only thinking about it, it is absolutely worth it. And Steve Zaragoza is a sneaky bitch. So one of the games that's not available yet but looks amazing is called Guacamelee. <laughs> plays a lot like Super Meat Boy, but you're two Lucha Libre fighters, awesome. And your jumping around has platforming elements and it's also action oriented. Basically, you're going between light and dark dimensions to defeat enemies and complete platforming levels. It encourages cooperation, which is really, really fun. And it also has this beautiful art style that makes it really pop. The game is produced by Drinkbox Studios and it is gorgeous. I absolutely would have believed this was a large developer title. It isn't out until early next year, but I am so excited. I love anything that has a beautiful art style and has challenging platforming elements, I'm completely sold. I had a ton of fun just picking it up, but it was challenging enough that I didn't feel like I was baby stepping through it. So one of the games I got my hands on this weekend that I was so excited to touch was The Unfinished Swan by Giant Sparrow. <laughs> It's got a ton of buzz around it because of its cool artsy style. And it's one of those games where it's like, there's not really a story, but there's a story like Journey or Limbo. And I absolutely love that. So basically you start out with just white. I mean, there's just white. That's all that there is. So players can shoot black paint balls at the walls to kind of expose the environment. But you can't just shoot black paint everywhere and they hope to expose everything. That actually screws everything up. You want to get just enough paint to get the contrast in the black and white to show you the environment. Basically the only other color in the game is yellow because there's little swan footprints that you follow along. I don't really know this 
rest of the story yet because I only got my hands on it for a little bit of time, but I am absolutely intrigued. I love when people try new things with art, especially in games, and this reminds me so much of Journey, but it is so different. I can't wait to get my hands on it. It was just announced that the game is actually coming out October 23rd on the PSN, and PlayStation Plus subscribers get the game a week early, so I am mega jealous. We will definitely be getting our hands on it as soon as it comes out. All in all, IndieK 2012 was a ton of fun. It was just really cool to go out and play games for the love of games and see people making games for the love of games. I mean, these aren't the big companies. These are people doing it in their garage, in their free time. I mean, Hidden in Plain Sight was just one guy, and that's awesome. And I love that we're able to support them, so you should support indie games too, because they encourage innovation. I mean, look at the Unfinished Swan. Would you ever see a big developer put up a title like that? Uh, maybe, because of indie games like this. Anyway, you guys should check them out. Which of these games looked coolest to you? Let us know in the comments down below. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and go to sourcefed.com to see everything we've ever done. I'm Meg Turney, and I'm gonna go make Steve Zaragoza cry like a little bloop. Oh,